Hello and welcome to my collection. Today it's the video pack episode. Um, this is for the G7000, my first console slash computer. I think you can call it a hybrid. And this was my second, the G7400. Really better. Has enhanced graphics on some games. Um, I will show you later. And it has very important a power button. Something this thing is lacking. Uh, some said that this power button has a lot of issues. This version you see hasn't had any issues, so maybe it's a it's a good build version. Who knows? But my uh, old um, console had hadn't the same problem. So. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's just on a little bit systems, don't know. From the controllers, it's the same thing, these are the controllers for a video pack. In the G7400 you can uh, unplug them, here we are fixed, wonderful. So, speaking of the great games, some are boxed, some aren't. So, um, this is video pack number one, it has three games on it, the race games are acceptable, um, yeah. the code breaking game, uh, you don't need that. It's the first uh, module, so maybe it's interesting for you. The second installment, this time boxed. It also has three games on it, you see a memory, you see something like a lander, and also a code breaker. It's not a very good game, but you see, <laughs> it's where. Speaking of not very good game, this is my only cartridge of number three. This is the famous American football, or translated wonderful here in Germany, rugby. You can laugh now. Um, yes, this um, cartridge is a little bit interesting uh, I think the game is really lousy you don't need that believe me um, so better we skip it number four this time boxed again this is I will call it the video pack version of combat of the Atari 2600 combat game um, it's okay it's playable maybe it's a prequel to um, Conquest of a World um, it appears later, so this version might be interesting for you. It's it's a really solid game. The first interesting game, Blackjack. Um, it's not a good Blackjack game, and this game has um, an issue. Um, I we call it just a random number generators, but lacks um, an issue on the memory. This game doesn't run perfectly on the G7400 so uh, you have to need the old uh, system to play it correctly but believe me it's not a very good game if you are hardcore you have it but it's not the greatest blackjack ever believe me number six you see we have numbers it's bowling and basketball basketball is nothing special bowling is is acceptable it's playable but it's not the greatest game ever believe me number seven really strange a math program um, yes if you have uh, kids in the 80s <laughs> no I don't believe they played with this um, this is number seven this is um, yeah, a math teacher version it's a little bit strange. This is baseball, also not a very good baseball version, so ask yourself if you need it, um, but it's number eight in the collection. Number nine, very awkward. This is a programmer. You can um, use um, assembler to um, 
write some programs, maybe um, very uh, easy programs, but it's possible. So you have a keyboard and you have a game, so you can uh, program. I know I was a basic compiler as an add-on. Uh, this thing I don't n uh, own, uh, but I have it. Uh, I had it as a kid. I know it. Um, but this is for programmer, maybe simpling, a simple assembler game, if you want to call it. Number ten. Golf. It's acceptable, but it's not very great. Believe me. Number eleven. The Cosmic Conflict. Um, uh, it's a space shooter. You have this um, cross and uh, you can shoot spaceships. It's not a very bad game, but it's not one of my f favorites. No, even not in the plus version. Number 12. Take the money and run. Uh, sounds like uh, the bank of today's. Um, this is a Riala, uh, Radiola uh, video pack version, um, but it's the same thing uh, like the other European video packs. Um, take the money and run is, uh, should I say, unique or special. It's a game um, where you play as um, maybe as a banker. And you have to get money, and if uh, it changes, uh, so you have to pay money, you have to run from these little robots. Uh, I don't know if you really need that, um, but I have it. 13, it's also boxed, but in this strange box version, um, it's also um, a math for kids. Uh, it's not a really good program, believe me. Number 14. Gunslinger or a gunfighter. <laughs> Gunslinger is Atari. This is the outlaw version of Atari 2600. It's a really good game. It's playable. Uh, you see the graphics are really easy and very equal to the Atari standards. It's okay. It's playable. It's, it's nice. Uh, it's really fun. Number 15. This is number 15, just block, just really black. You see, there's a instruction. Number 15 is the Samurai game. Um, it's, it's a board game, um, maybe similar to Logic Chess or something. I don't know the, the real name, uh, but it, it's a logic uh, thing. Number 16. Uh, this is something like uh, you see Death Charge and um, Marksman. Marksman is really good. You see this uh, little, uh, maybe I can get it better. Uh, little strange systems, uh, little sh sims, uh, strange symbols. You can shoot them. Uh, and it's a really cool shooter. Uh, the Death Charge is okay, but it's not the greatest. Believe me. Uh, number 17. And after number 17, we will do a little cut. So, number 17. This is Shiny's Logic. It's also um, something like uh, Tower of Hanoi. Um, it's also a logic thing uh, where you have to change uh, from uh, A to C, from C to A, and something like that. It's okay, but it's not really great. So, this was part one of a video pack collection. Uh, believe me, next week, where will we know? See you!